Hi, I'm Stephanie from Crosscut Sewing, and today I wanted to show you a really quick project, but one that's been really helpful for my family, mask necklaces or lanyards. These are really simple to make, but they've come in really handy. Um, sometimes when I go for a walk, I just like to have it so I can put it up if I pass somebody or run into a shop, but then I can, um, I don't have to stuff it into my pocket, I can kind of have it right here. And with my kids, they were always losing theirs, or what was a little bit worse to me <laughs> was when they go to school or when they're out, they would put it down on a surface, like a dirty surface or table or something. And so at least with this, it keeps them from doing that. Um, so I wanna show you two different ways to do this. The first way I'm gonna show you is with these swivel clasps. Um, and these are nice, they are a little bit sturdier. As you can see, I just use ribbon for this, which um, as long as you have like a sturdier ribbon, that we have this on the website, um, it, it, they hold up just fine and they're just quick and easy to, to do. If you don't have ribbon handy, you can use um, fabric. And just, f I folded this in half and then folded the ends towards the middle and then in half again. And um, at two and a half inches, it, folds into a size that works with these 5 8 inch um, swivel clasps or it fits the snap really nicely too. So feel free to use fabric or some ribbon or whatever you might have handy. Um, for the swivel ones, these are really easy. You just take the end of the ribbon and thread it through the, the um, D-ring part of this and then I like to, so that the raw edge doesn't show, I fold it like that and then fold it up again. And then as you can see, I just sew two lines of stitching. So I sew one whole line and then backstitch it. And then I sew another and backstitch it just so it's strong. And then you can just clip this right onto the side of your mask. So that's one way, really easy, really quick. Another way, and this is great if you don't sew, is to use a snap press. So we have these on the website, and if you haven't used it before, they're really easy. So you would need two snap sets, and a snap set is actually four pieces. So you'd want to make sure you have all eight pieces. So in order to do this, I'm going to take my ribbon. And again, I'm going to fold it once to hide that raw edge, and then I am going to fold it up again. Because I want to put through my snap through all those layers and hide that edge. And then I'm going to fold it again because that's where I'm going to put the snap. So I have that folded up like that. And then this tool comes with the, the snap pliers. I'm going to decide wherever I want my snap. And I'm just going to poke a hole right through all of those layers, just like that. And I'm going to unfold this part. I'm going to take one of the posts. And I'm going to put this right through. I think my hole closed up a little bit there. See if I can get it through. There we go. And then your other piece, you have two different ones. You want to make sure that you put one on each side, and they should be different. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put this guy on this side. And you just take your pliers, and the cap there fits right onto the base, and you just squeeze it shut. And then the same thing on this side. So I'm going to pop that right through. And then just squeeze it shut. And then I can snap it. So either way, they're really handy. I hope you found this useful. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and happy sewing.